Hey everyone, Chris Marty, The Rebate Guy, your Central Texas new home construction expert. We're gonna take you through this amazing tour today of the David Weekly Ridgegate floor plan. And as always, remember by using us as your real estate professional, you will save thousands with our buyer rebate program. Even after all these crazy real estate changes, make sure you call me to save a lot of money when purchasing a new construction home. So let's jump right in to the Ridgegate floor plan. This is a Ridgegate floor plan with David Weekly Homes. As you can see, different elevations will exist in different neighborhoods, so they may not all look like this on the outside. You'll have some combination of brick, stone, and of course that siding, depending on the neighborhood. As we come into the home, you'll be greeted immediately with this beautiful entryway. You've got your secondary bedrooms, depending on your garage swing, located right off the front of the home here. And of course, that beautiful upgraded front door. Lots of options at the Design Center with David Weekly. As you kind of come into these secondary rooms here, you can see again that nice bathroom right there with the floor to ceiling tile that is an available upgrade option and of course many different types of tiles to choose from they even have things such as framed in mirrors if you're looking for an upgrade like that and of course many different types of tile both ceramic with tile flooring options vinyl options and things of that nature to truly make it your own as we head to the secondaries you'll see here they've got a really really nice Big size square footage here on these rooms, high ceilings as well. Nice option that David Weekly offers. Of course, you can change that carpet out to many different types of flooring, different options there. And of course, you've got your closet here as well. So really, really nice closet doors that they chose in this model. Really good size secondary room here, located again, just off the front of the home. They share that full bath right there. Heading into the secondary one, you'll see as well, again, high ceilings, good square footage and you've got those two big bright windows because this one is located off the front of your home underneath that front entry porch of course with those closet doors so really nice options here that they chose notice the baseboards in david weekly they build a really nice home with high baseboards as well this is going to be your garage area this is a model home of course so just know that right there that's going to be the garage and then you come into the house itself we'll have your banister here again different upgrades and different options for the banister this will be the actual garage door into that area so that would be a wall back there that you wouldn't see and then this is your utility room so this is going to be washer dryer right here cabinets are an option they have that shelf right there as an option beautiful flooring options all throughout so just different customizations that you can choose to make your utility room your own and then you've got that nice drop zone right there when you come in off of the garage right here at the end at the front of the home Going back this way, you'll see we kind of start opening up the floor plan here. So we've got kind of that beautiful flex dining room, office space, just kind of whatever flex space you want to use it for right here off the main living area. So this is great to have kind of a den or again, your dining room table or anything that you want to use home office located right here, just off that main dining area here. And as we turn this way, you'll kind of see we start to open up to the beautiful, huge, living breakfast dining combination right so this is a huge space video doesn't do it justice there's a lot of room here there's a lot of cabinets here color options on the color cabinets you can choose different exteriors from the island right so it's a cool option to have two different two-tone cabinets there as well many different vent hoods many different backsplashes and of course those high-end appliance options as well for those built-in appliances or slide-in ranges or things of that nature. You have a lot of choices here with David Weekly on exactly how you want your luxury kitchen to look. And kind of as you walk this way, you'll see that slide-in range option that they went with here on this plan. They didn't do the built-in appliances. They did the nice high-end range. You've got your dishwasher right there on the island. And of course your big single basin sink located right here in the dead center of the kitchen. So as you kind of turn around, this is of course your living space, ceiling fan, typically included here for the living room. But again, you can get some nice aftermarket finance for a builder. Never really add fans when you're building a home. I love what they did with this wall. Again, typically you got a sheetrock wall here, but they did a nice custom brick wall option there. And then this is your kind of dining room space as well. Lots of different light fixtures at the design center. If you want something that's a little bit more high end or you want something that's a little bit more standard, do it later. They offer those options for you at the David Weekly Design Center. So definitely make sure that you check them out. But again, good use of space here nice flooring throughout and they've got those nice window sills there with that triple set of windows to make this area have a lot of natural light it is very bright if you can tell which is great especially if you're somebody that's wanting that lot of natural light in your home and so as we kind of head back here through the dining area and so as we head back here right off the dining room you'll actually find a third full bedroom remember we had those two at the front and this is actually now a third full bedroom that's located right here off the breakfast slash dining area 
Again, good use of space on this floor plan, maximizing that space. And it has its own full ensuite as well. That's of course becoming a more popular request these days as people are tending to stay uh, living together longer. And so this is a really good use of space here for the bathroom that they put in here. Full size walk-in shower in this secondary bedroom. Again, different fixtures are available for plumbing. If you want black, if you want chrome, if you want bronze, they have all of those options for you. And then nice use of the sink here and the space in this floor plan. So really neat, again, to have that extra bedroom located right off the dining area. And this is a really, really good use of space just right off your main kind of central location in the house. And so as we head back out now, we're heading back into the breakfast area or dining area, however you want to use it. Again, look at that big covered patio out there. Different options on that depending on the neighborhood and floor plan, so we won't talk about that too much right now. But we're walking to the other side of the home, which of course is going to have our primary suite located here in this corner. So right off all the action in the other direction, primary bedroom right here, huge windows. You can kind of see that sneak peek of them, big natural bright light right off the living area. And look at this, look at these high ceilings, look at the just wainscoting that they did on here the different flooring options that exist throughout. All of these are choices for you at the David Weekly Design Center. They did include a ceiling fan here on this one, same thing. More of a stock fan is typically what you get. And then you could upgrade that aftermarket if you're looking for, or you can pay them. They have some options at the Design Center as well. And so as you kind of come through this primary suite, you'll get a peek of the primary bathroom there, which again, is a really, really nice size. So as we're kind of wrapping up in here, just know that there's a lot of different choices again in the flooring, the paint colors and things that you can do. And now we're gonna to start to head over to the primary bath here, which is gonna show you that huge walk-in shower option that they did here. And of course your double vanity. So you've got your two different sinks here, making it really easy to have your own space and have your stuff where you want it. Lots of cabinets. They put the cabinet hardware on. Again, another option for different colors on that cabinet hardware here. And then this is gonna be your big walk-in shower. They went floor to ceiling subway tile in this model. Very elegant, very nice. They have a ton of different choices if you're looking for like the bigger ceramic tiles, the rectangles, the squares, all of those options exist for you at the design center. And then the, you can of course, again, choose the colors of your fixtures, right? Your plumbing fixtures and faucets and things of that nature. So lots of options there for you. And then when you're looking here, this is called a mud set shower. So there's no pan in this one. And they did that nice kind of small tile finish along the bottom for the mud set. So it just elevates it. Uh, for your primary bath and then of course you've got a huge walk-in closet here plenty of space and you can kind of get a peek at some of the david weekly exterior selections they have them here in the model so you can kind of get an idea of some of the brick colors that are available for you when you're looking to build a home with them but good sized closet here they have some really nice builder standard features in regards to shelves and things like that so you're not just getting a complete bare bones closet like with some builders and so as we come upstairs, that's what this room is. This is a secondary thousand square foot kind of flex space on this home. Very misleading because remember you have that four bedrooms downstairs and now you come upstairs to this huge bonus room that gives you a ton of utility, whether you're looking for a getaway space, right? If there's a lot of noise and you want people to kind of go upstairs, this room has that option to have another work from home office, a playroom, a game room, a poker room, a man cave, anything at all you want. And what's cool as well is it also has this bathroom option that they chose on this plan. So this is a full bath option right here that they have, which is again, giving you that just elegance and nice high-end space here for that upper level. And this one has a full bath. So if you did want to use it as a living space for somebody, you could, right? There's a shower up here, bath option. So uh, really, really cool what you could do with this design space up here. And I'm sure there's an option on this plan to make it kind of like a partial game room, partial bedroom option as well. So really cool things that you can do. But anyways, guys, this has been this tour of this model. It's a great model. And as always, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And as always, reach out to us to save thousands as your real estate agent. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and follow us for more amazing content.